In this video, we look at some of the new features in iOS 12.1.1. Check it out. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Jeff Benjamin with 9 to 5 Mac. Here is the 12.1.1 change log, notification preview using haptic touch on the iPhone XR, dual SIM support for the XR, XS, and XS Max, one tap to flip between rear and front facing cameras during FaceTime live photo capture during FaceTime calls, the option to hide the sidebar and news, real time text support on the iPad and iPod Touch. Well, I haven't used that in so long. I haven't seen one in so long. I don't even know how to say it anymore. The iPod Touch when using Wi-Fi calling, lots of different bug fixes and stability improvements. Also rounding up this 12.1.1 release. So we have it installed now. Let's check out the first thing. The iPhone XR now gets notification preview support with haptic touch. So all you need to do, sort of like a 3D touch, not exactly like a 3D touch, you just actually tap and hold, uh, whereas you actually press on 3D touch enabled devices. But this simulates 3D touch for notification previews pretty closely. And I think 10R users will be happy for, with this, especially those coming from or upgrading from a device with 3D touch. And how convenient, another notification, this time from Twitter. So we'll do the same thing there to get that preview just like that. So that's how it works. Haptic touch with the notification preview on the 10R. Now, if we go to settings here, I wanna show you something else really cool. If we go to cellular and we tap where it says add cellular plan, which is right here. You're gonna be able to scan a QR code from your carrier to add a different line to your account. So a second line, thanks to that eSIM, so that is a secondary line that works alongside your current line tied to your physical SIM inside your iPhone XS, XR, or XS Max. And you can also activate manually if you want to, if you don't have that QR code. Unfortunately, AT&T is the only US carrier at the moment that supports this. Okay, so let's talk about FaceTime. Right now, there are two notable improvements in iOS 12.1.1. First of all, you probably see it right off the bat, but the ability to easily flip between your front and rear facing camera just by tapping the flip button at the bottom of the interface, and you can see it flip around just like that. The next feature is live photo capture by tapping the little shutter button during one-to-one -one FaceTime calls. So these live photos will be saved to the camera roll for consumption later. So those are the two improvements for FaceTime and 12.1.1. As far as Apple News is concerned, there's now the ability to hide the sidebar just like that on the iPad in 12.1.1. So that is new for the News app. And now there's real-time text support when using Wi-Fi calling on an iPod Touch or iPad. So on the host device, go to Accessibility Settings, RTT, and make sure you have Software RTT enabled. And now, when I receive a call on this phone, I can answer it on my iPad and still use those RTT features. As you can see right there, see how that accept button has that keypad on it. When I accept the call, you can see where it says RTT. You just simply tap one of those buttons on either device to initiate real-time text. And what this means is it's truly real-time text. So when I type, that text immediately shows up on the other device. So this is primarily aimed at users with hearing impairments and you can easily have real-time communication between these two devices just like this. So when I type here, it automatically appears on the other device in real time. Pretty cool. Now this isn't my first time hearing about RTT, but I never really explored what it meant. But now that I see it, it's actually really, really interesting. Uh, there's also these little handy shortcuts here in the quick type bar. So you can just tap on those and those have different meanings such as go ahead, GA or SK ready to hang up, etc. Now you may have also noticed in the upper right hand corner, there is a little microphone button. What this does is it will enable the microphone so that you can talk using your voice if you wanna do that. Uh, and you can do so on both devices or just one if you want to. You can turn that off like that. So that is an overview of RTT. Hopefully you learned something here. I know I sure did. Um, so that is what's new in iOS 12.1.1. What's your favorite feature? Let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.